BBC News. At 6 p.m. in London, this is The World Today with Lewis Vaughan Jones. A manhunt across France after an armed gang shoot dead two prison guards as they help convicted drug dealer Mohamed Amr to escape. A tense standoff in Tbilisi, hundreds of protesters clash with security forces as Georgia votes through a divisive law that critics say pushes the country closer to Russia. These are the live pictures we have of Georgia's capital as the unrest there continues. Meanwhile, the US Secretary of State Antony Blinken makes an unannounced visit to Kyiv, saying more American military aid is on the way. Also coming up on The World Today. Two world records are broken on Mount Everest. A Sherpa makes the most ever successful ascents and a British climber sets a record too. Welcome to The World Today, an hour of international news from the BBC. We're going to start in France and that prisoner escape, that prisoner is on the run right now. Two prison officers have been killed, three others injured. Take a look at the pictures. There's an ambush uh, on a prison van. These are social media pictures you can see just through the glass there, uh, The what seems to be the gunman. Now, the prisoner who was freed in this break was a notorious criminal, Mohamed Amra. Hundreds of police are now involved in the search for him and his assailants. Let's just take a look at exactly where this happened. This was uh, in Normandy, motorway to toll booth. Prisoner was being moved uh, between Rouen and Evreux after earlier appearing in court. Here's Andrew Harding. A brazen ambush on a French motorway. Surveillance footage records the moment a black car rams into a white police van. At least two masked and heavily armed men then begin firing at the van. The gunmen then somehow set fire to their own vehicle next to the toll booth. More footage, filmed by someone on a passing coach, then shows one of the gunmen moving slowly, almost nonchalantly forward. 